This video is going to show you how to take an old armoire and turn it into a beautiful piece of furniture that will add character to any room in your home. This is a really simple project that anyone can do with a little bit of time and some basic painting skills. My sister bought this armoire for her bedroom and asked if I could help her paint it. It was in really good shape, unlike most of my makeovers, but this tone of wood just isn't her style. Just like with every makeover, we removed the hardware first. We even unscrewed the hinges from the door, which if you've done any refinishing on furniture, you know this can come back to bite you. But this piece is new enough. I didn't think it would be a big deal to put it all back together. Then my sister cleaned the whole piece with crud cutter and a damp rag to make sure the surface was clean and to help the paint stick. And then she breezed through scuff sanding the armoire with my surf prep sander. She used the half inch foam sanding pads in medium grit for anything that wasn't flat. And then she just used regular 220 grit sandpaper for the flat areas. My sister wanted the top to be wood, so while she scuff sanded, I just thought that I would quickly scrape off the old finish with this awesome carbide scraper, but nope. I tried and I tried and it barely removed the top coat. It was kind of sad. I was worried about sanding it all down, fearing that I would sand through a thin layer of veneer on this piece and into a layer of MBF or particle board since this armoire is fairly new. So to play it safe, we decided to use some chemical stripper to remove the old finish. I sprayed on a coat of Stripwell QCS on the top, let it sit for 15 minutes, and then I sprayed another coat on, waiting another 15 minutes. While we waited on the stripper, we primed the drawers and the door with Binchelac based primer to help the paint stick, but mostly to prevent stains from coming through the paint. My sister wanted to paint this piece white, and if we didn't prime it, I was sure we would have stains ruining our white paint job. We brushed and rolled two coats of primer on to make sure we had full coverage everywhere. While waiting for the primer to dry, we were able to scrape off most of the finish on the top with a plastic scraper, and then scrub some more off with 000 still wool. But this finish was thick. No wonder I couldn't get it off with a carbide scraper. So we decided to put another coat of stripper on and let it finish lifting up the finish instead of making us use a lot of elbow grease to get it off. 15 minutes later, we were able to easily get off the rest and we wiped it all down with a wet paper towel to remove all of the residue. This stripper does not require mineral spirits to clean off all the gunk, which is so nice. We finished priming and then the next day we were able to sand the top with 220 grit sandpaper to smooth out the wood and remove a little bit of finish that was left over. I also used some medium grit foam sanding pads to sand the curves on the side of the dresser by hand. When the primer was all dry, we sanded it smooth with fine grit foam pads just to remove the texture that was left behind and make it feel nice and smooth. We used the vacuum to suck up most of the dust and then wiped everything down with a tack cloth again. My sister loves her wood to have some gray in it. So I mixed up some gray and cream paint to make a lighter gray color. And then I added some water to the paint to create a wash. And then I brushed the wash onto the wood quickly and wiped it away quickly to give it a slight gray tone. and oh my goodness, it looked good. Then we brushed and rolled on some Sherwin-Williams Emerald Urethane Trim Enamel in the color pure white onto the rest of the armoire. This paint is high quality, self-leveling trim paint that dries to a very durable finish. I've sprayed it on in the past, but we just brushed and rolled it on this time with a zebra paintbrush and a mohair mini roller. We painted two coats on everything, letting it dry completely between coats. 
Then I top coated the wood on top with a top coat brush and water-based polyurethane to protect the wood from getting easily damaged. Then we put everything back together and thank goodness it all worked out great. And we put on some cute new hexagon knobs on the drawers and the door and here's what it looks like now. How stinking cute. I think that I might need to start painting more furniture white because I love this crisp white look. What do you think of the new look? Would you have painted it all one color or do you like the wood top? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons to see more of our videos. Are you confused and not sure where to start with your furniture makeover? Don't worry, I got your back. Click the link in my comment to download our free painting checklist so you can paint your furniture as if you hired a professional to do it.